Montreal's real estate market is as diverse as its culture. From historic districts to up and coming neighborhoods, there's something for every investor. So what makes a hidden gem? We're looking for affordability, potential for appreciation, and promising neighborhood development. By the way, my name is LJ Aguinaga with LJ Realties here in Montreal. If you're thinking about buying, selling, investing, or relocating to Montreal, or if you have any other questions about our incredible market, please feel free to reach out to me. All of my information is in the description down below. Let's start with the Plateau Mont-Royal, known for its charm and appeal to young professionals. The Plateau is always, historically speaking, a very French neighborhood. You have some excellent bakeries, some great restaurants. You've got some older constructions, typically 120 to 85 years old. So you have a lot of that ancient charm that fills Montreal. Because of this, you always have to be weary of some insulation problems and obviously some structural foundation problems that come with properties that are so old. This being said, you can find some great hidden gems here because the rental value of these properties and the demand for these properties is through the roof. Now let's talk about Griffintown. Once industrial, now offers trendy living spaces. I remember Griffintown in 2010 being basically a blank canvas. You had only two or three of the buildings so far. You didn't have the concrete jungle that it's become and filled with so many different residents occupying all the spaces, filled with now beautiful parks as well, lining the canal and just a hop skip away from downtown Montreal. So Griffintown offers a perfect blend of proximity to the canal, proximity to downtown, along with several options of purchasing or rental in all the condo towers that have been built in the area. Let's head over to Rosemont La Petite Patrie, which boasts family-friendly vibes and affordability. This neighborhood is fantastic for families. I usually have families who do reach out when they want to buy in that neighborhood or people who are thinking of starting a family in the near future. You've got tons of great parks. It's easy to get around. You've got some great restaurants, some great schools, and it's significantly more affordable than the areas that are closer to downtown Montreal. And don't forget Point St. Charles with its tight-knit community and proximity to downtown. Just on the other side of the canal, we have all of Point St. Charles filled with some excellent restaurants. You have the local downtown Costco, which is a huge hit for most people, as well as excellent parks in the neighborhood. I love Point St. Charles because it really gives more of that little suburban feel while still being super close to downtown. I can even say that I love it so much that I'm in the process of developing a nine unit building where we're going to be moving our offices to. In these neighborhoods, you'll find a mix of condos, multifamily homes, offering both rental income and long-term investment potential. To succeed in Montreal's hidden gem market, research is key. Consider the long-term prospects of your investment and consult with experts to make informed decisions. Now, let's take a look at some real-life success stories where investors have seen impressive returns on their Montreal properties. Let's start off with a couple that recently bought a home in the West Island. They bought the home in 2020, and then due to a couple changes in life, had to resell it just two years after with a profit of over $150,000. Now this was in a very short period of time. The market had obviously appreciated significantly, but by purchasing in a well sought after neighborhood, a home that was already very well renovated, they had to do minimal additions to it in order to profit. This was an excellent win for them. Now, if we bring it closer to downtown, I have a couple clients who have bought a few multiplexes lately, specifically a triplex in St. Henry. And what I found super interesting about this property is that over last year, when interest rates went up, prices went down because people were less interested in picking up these types of investment properties. That being said, the true value of the property, if you will, it didn't lose anything. It didn't lose any rental revenue. It didn't have any new damages associated to it. Now, when they first listed this property two years ago, they listed it for $950. Over that period of time, before we purchased it, they had brought the price down to $750,000 and we got to purchase it for even a little bit below that. So can you imagine all of that value that they were able to capitalize on that I know they're going to make back up over the course of the next year or two as interest rates come back down, that valuation is gonna go right back up. So when we're looking at investment properties, the fact that cap rates play such an important role along with the interest rates, we can sometimes buy a discounted property that hasn't actually lost any true value. It's just been paper value on the valuation of it. Now let's look at a couple clients who bought a starter condo recently. So I have a few clients who started off with a starter condo. They had just graduated university the year or two before. They wanted to make their first investment and to actually live in it. They got to enjoy the condo for a couple of years. Then they end up getting married, starting a family. They need more space. We went to go resell the condo over the course of the last two years. Everyone had bought two to three years prior, so not really a long time of holding it. And they were able to profit from the increases that we saw in the market as well. So. Across the board, people have seen a lot of appreciation gains in the Montreal area. Now, it's super important to note that 
Historically, you need to be able to hold a property for five years. That's my go-to. I always say you want to be able to hold a property for at least five years to capitalize on the upside of the appreciation. Before that, I have a very hard time guaranteeing any good appreciation because it'll be very market dependent. And like any investment, you can have a swing over any 12 month period. But if you are in it for the long run, I promise you, you're gonna see some excellent returns in the Montreal area. I hope you found this video informative. If you have any questions or suggestions for future topics, please let me know in the comments down below. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more fascinating discussions on real estate. Thank you so much for watching.